Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Patterns make math easy. This one is talking about the tricks for dividing number two. In this session, I would like to uh, introduce some um, other tricks. First of all, the first trick is when number divided by 0 0.5. For example, 22 divided by 0 0.5, or we say uh, 29 divided by 0 0.5, or third one, like uh, say you, you have 1.8 divided by 0 0.5 fourth one for example 43 divided by 0 0.5 or you say the next if you have let's say uh, 125 divided by 0 0.5 whatever this one all this one we follow very easy pattern we say divided 0 0.5 actually is multiplied by 2. So you got 44, 29 divided 0 0.5, just equal multiplied by 2 is 58. 1.8 divided by 0 0.5 is 3.6, just using 1.8 multiplied by 2. 43 divided 0 0.5, just multiplied by 2 is 86. 125 divided 0 0.5 equal 250. How do you know so fast? So let's say if I explain to you actually something is really simple. Let's say we express the division into fraction form. Okay? Let's say you have 22 for number the first one is 22 divided by 0 0.5 equals to you put 22 on the top 0 0.5 on the bottom this is division right then I multiply by 2 for both top and the bottom what happened 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 is 1 22 44 44 over 1 is 44 that's why why it's so simple, it's so fast, right? So divided by 0 0.5 you call it multiplied by 2. So you don't need to move decimal by divided by 2. It's the first trick. First trick. The second one, and I'll show you. The second trick is a number. Second track is when number, let's say, number, we're still using this 22 divided by 0 0.25. Say, 21 divided by 0 0.25. Or you have uh, 1.5 divided by 0 0.25. And say 43 divided by 0 0.25, or you have 5, even you have 11 divided by 0 0.25, all this kind of question. As we know, we already know divided by 0 0.5, we can write a fraction, and then by multiply by 2, the similarity we say if you have numbers, say, 22. 22 divided by 0 0.5, 0 0.25, what we can do? Very easy. 25 cents, quarter, multiply 4, make a window, right? See? When you divide the 25, divide the 0 0.25, actually is multiplied by 4. Because 0 0.25 multiplied by 4 equals 1. So this is 88. So equal 88. 
you get the multiply by 4. So this is got multiply by 4, you got 88, 21 divided by 0 0.25 multiplied by 8 is 84, 1.5 divided by 0 0.25 equal 1.5 multiplied by 4 is 6.0 is 6. 43 divided by 0 0.25 equals multiplied by 4, multiplied by 4, Sometimes you feel that, oh, what by 4? I don't know. You can do this one. Because 4 equals 2 times 2. You once double it, you 43 double it, you got 86. Then what by 2 again, double again, double again is 172. Right? So 11 divided is 0 0.25 multiply 4 equals 44. See? Instead of doing division, you do long division. Is 11 divided 0 0.25 looks very complicated. Right? You need to move decimal. Yeah. Okay. This is the second checks. And divided by 0 0.5, that means equals 2 multiplied by 4. Right? The third checks third one, and I'll show you something. If you have number is uh, divided by 5, let's say divided by 5. Number divided by 5, let's say 20, uh, 28 divided by 5. Let's make it easy, 280. Okay, divide by 5 first. And also something, uh, for example, you have 40, uh, 140 divided by 5, or 350 divided by 5, and let's say 180 divided by 5, or 245 divided by 5 or this so you already know divided 0 0.5 you call multiply by 2 what about divided by 5 you say Divided by 0 0.5, if you divide the 0 0.5, you say equal to multiply by 2. So, okay, if this number multiplied by 2, 280 multiplied by 2, 560, right? Because you double 280, you got 560. But now it's not divided by 0 0.5, but divided by 5, cross 1, 0, you got the 56. That's why the third trick is when you divide by 5, you can divide the 10 first, then double it. So 140 divided 5, you first divide the 10, make 14, divide the 5, and make this one multiply by 2. You got 28. Right? And 350 divided 5, you first divide the 10 cross 1, 0, and double 35, you got the 70. And divide the 5, it cross 1, 0. Double it is 36. And this is the same thing. But if you divide the 10, the decimal will be here. Right? 245 divided 10, your decimal move one digit to the left. And double this one equals 49. Because double of 0.5 got the 1. So double of 24, you got the 48 plus 1, you got 49. You know? This is third, third one. Even I have another pattern to show you. Actually, this is uh, very interesting. If you say, okay, I can make more. Easy. How easy? Say number divided by 0 0.125. Oh, this is a very difficult question. Look, like, say the fourth 
checks is a number, let's say you have number is 15 divided by 0 0.125 this looks like a very cheap but we know what is 0 0.125 0 0.125 is half of 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 is half of 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is half of 1. That's why we say 0 0.125 actually is 1 eighth. Right? So when we do this one, I first explain to you, let's say this one. Okay, I write this way. 15 divided by 0 0.125. And 0 0.125, you multiply 8, multiply 8 to the top bottom, 0 0.125 multiply 8 equals 1, right? Equals 1, because first the double, got this 0 0.25, and double again, get the 0 0.5, and double again, get the 1. So 0 0.125 multiply 8 equals 1. So then 15 multiply 8, equals 120, right? See, this is the answer is 120. Answer is 120. If you feel multiply 8 is takes time, let's do this one because 8 because 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. So what we can do is 15 divided 0 0.125 I can do this one first, double, first double, 15, you got 30, right? Then 30, and double again, you got 60. And then, double 60 again, you got 120, see? You don't need to move decimal three places very complicated. Okay? Let's try this one. Second one. If you have, let's say, uh, 13 divided 0 0.125 divided 0 0.125 equals multiply 8. So, multiply by 8, you can double 3 times. First time, you double it 13 becomes 26. Then double again, you got 52. Then double again, you got 104. Right? So 13 divided 0 0.125, you got 104. Wow. When you do this question, you show the other people, people feel like, oh, you are a genius. Because you know the pattern. It's not to do very detailed, but you know the pattern. Divided by 0 0.125 is equals multiplied by 8. Multiplied by 8, actually you call double 3 times. So, this is the second one, tricks for dividing numbers. I'm going to make the third tricks, uh, the third video, which is uh, how to divide nine easily. Okay, this is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you very much.